Hi everybody, uh, Maria here, just popping in to do a little video for you on this card here as requested. Um, so this is actually using the new Fab 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 um, slimline and bottom folder um, from uh, Lisa's bundle for TV. Uh, so this one is called Crazy Paint. It's amazing that all of them, I think there's about six and they are all super fab. But this one, as soon as I got this folder, I, I knew the first thing that I wanted to, to do with this. It really is an absolute corker okay so let me tell you quickly what we're going to need this is a really really easy technique this it really is um so things we're going to use some ink pads so i've gone with a couple of a uh, couple or three <laughs> of my oxide so i've just gone with just nice bright colors so this this bright color show through so i've gone with these ones here picked raspberry mustard seed and salty ocean but any colors are going to work really really nicely okay i've got uh, some brushes as well um to apply that um i'm also going to use my black soot oxide as well to black these areas out okay uh that's that bit then what do we need so we need some uh some card so i've got a piece of i'll measure this when we get going in a, a second so um this is stamping card so lisa's super smooth and um, whatever is going to be okay for that um we also need a little spare bit of card um because we're going to ink these pieces is here uh, I've used a seven inch card blank so I've got one of those ready as well um, other card that we're going to use uh, let's see just to sort of matte and layer and so forth so I've got some uh, metallic and uh, oh there you go look at that that's that's my ink pads and that's my paints what have we got over there there's all my pens <laughs> okay and piece of black as well i like a bit of a bit of black card um so we've already mentioned the um the folder the crazy paint folder i haven't got the packaging for this i'm afraid because lisa sent me the very first one um that came through so how lucky am i um then also for our beautiful uh, letters here there's this set here uh, which is called Layered Words, Happy Stamps and Dies. This is brill um, because it's got this fab combination. So in here, uh, we've got a really cool set of stamps. So it's just, it covers so many things. It really does. Um, just tons and tons of things. These very, very useful. And then the dies. Now I'll show you the dies in a minute because I've actually got mine lined up on some pieces of card ready to cut. But I will show you when we come to that, I promise. But this is basically um, what we've what we've got in the, in the set, okay? Um, so those, that's a really, really cool set. So let me just put those stamps in there so they don't go astray and I think um, I think that's it and we're, we're good to go okay so I'm going to pop that over where I can see it so my piece of card now I said I'd, I'd give you the the measurements didn't I so let me just double check myself I think we're on 13 and a half by 15 centimeters but I will just check uh, so we've got 10 11 12 13 yeah so 13 and a half by mm, just under 15 this is going to be fine yeah just under 15 there um and then we're going to put this into into panels you see okay right so let's make a little start with that and our inks so let's go with picked raspberry first of all okay and we don't need to worry about sort of neat blending and so forth we just literally want to cover the card with with beautiful um bright color okay so don't worry about that so let's just get some of that in on here the other thing that you can do if you would like to is you can cut this into the three strips ahead of time and then you can see what colors you've got on each of the strips i'm kind of visualizing it because i think so i'm going to cut sort of here so i get that on on two sides there and then down here so I've, I've kind of got a bit of an idea but there's no science to it there's no um right or wrong way um i'm just thinking if we can sort of try and get some of the yellow on on each of the the pieces basically all right and it's yellow it's some of each of the color okay so some of that lovely salty ocean and then when i come in with the mustard seed what will happen then is we'll get obviously the yellow but if we overlap there 
then we'll get all the little shades as well so we get kind of greeny shades and then lovely kind of um sort of orangey shades there as well there we go so i am quite happy with that all right so and then while you've got your inks out what you can do on a spare piece if you want to ink another spare piece okay let me show you i'll just reach across and show you my my spare piece here so look um, I haven't inked it quite as bright, it doesn't really matter. So this is for to be able to um, die cut the, the sentiments, all right? So if you want to ink that at the same time as you're doing this, then great. If you don't, just whatever, whatever is fine. Right, so I'm going to chop these pieces up now. Here we go. So what we've got is 13 and a half. And the reason that I've gone shorter along here than I have with the length is because we kind of sort of separate these. And we're going to have just a little gap in between them. So by the time we spread those out, just that little bit, and I've allowed sort of half a centimetre um, sort of uh, here and there, then what's going to happen is then it's going to be as long as the, as, as the length, okay? If that makes sense. So what I'm going to do here then, it was 13 and a half. I'm going to cut at nine okay so I've taken off four and a half centimeters and then I'm going to come in at four and a half centimeters here we go all right if you can see that so then what I've got here let's just get this big old thing out the way there we go so now what we've got is our three evenly sized pieces like so okay so now for the the fun bit okay so we're going to bring the fold with the folder here we go here we go here we go right now on this folder we there's obviously there's two sort of sides to this there's the kind of emboss and or and deboss it's sort of the back and the front and with all um, embossing folders you're going to get a slightly different look depending on which side you're going to use so what i want is um i want lots of bright um, spaces here and uh, there's a big splat here that I particularly love um, it's hard to see on let me see if I can show you it's only a bit of black or something see that so see, I love that I really really love that so what I can see there this is the deboss this is down lower okay and over here the, the corresponding bit this is higher all right so when this side of the folder comes across and meets this one these are the bits that are going to be proud this is kind of kind of going to be the the, the back all right so this is the side that i would like to ink up with my ink okay because when i ink up with this ink like this all right now don't panic because this is black ink i know some of you will be having palpitations now honestly don't this is going to wash off i promise you i'll show you but if i ink up over here now can you see that there's no ink going into that part brilliant so what that means is when i come to emboss this now this bit is not going to be black i'm going to get my beautiful bright color there but you know it's trial and error if you do it wrong we've used a bit of card and a little bit of ink haven't we all right so do it again and you know what you might like the the look that you get from there so let me just pop that there get rid of that for oh there you go look at that love it love it love it and then all we're going to do is emboss so we want this ink to this ink okay so now on this i know that i can't get all three but i do know i can get two so what i'm going to do here the first let's see let's just pop that there and then the next piece sit next to it okay try to get them straight down rather than jiggling uh jiggling around okay so we're going to bring the lid over there lovely and i'm going to just run this through my machine okay just bear with me a second wait till you see that it's like oh the transformation is gorgeous i love it i love it i love it there we go right clattering and banging around there we go so then what we've got look at that look isn't that amazing isn't it just so cool i do i love it and you can see that we've got this beautiful big splatter so we've got the other piece here okay you can see that's just 
oh, it's pretty colours, but when you do that to it, isn't that fab? I love it. Right, so we need to do the same again. All right, so all our ink pretty much is spent. So we need to get some more ink on there. And I am, I'm, I'm just sort of inking up the whole thing because although I'm going to use a, a small piece of card, you never quite know which, which bit of that you're going to sort of use. So I just find it easier to ink up the whole piece. And again, I want that beautiful splatter. So I'm going to pop this one right there. Okay. Bring that across. And same again, I'm just going to pop that through my machine here. There we go. Okay, fab. And then when we open that, we've got the other piece. We've got the three pieces. So now what we've got, obviously we've got ink all over the folder. We've got some on this side now as well because um, of where we didn't have card. Honestly, it's absolutely fine. I mean, if you you sort of of the arty um, persuasion, you might want to spritz this with water and, and throw a piece of card through it and bot a piece of card and see what you get. You might like it. Um, I do do that a lot. I'm just putting the ink, the lid on that because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to clean it okay so you can see that it cleans off lovely all right so please don't worry about and your fingers as well there are any fingers you'll be all right so here we go let's do this side just give it a rub spray of water just good old-fashioned corporation pop there we go and on that side as well and just a lovely rub there you go. And if you do get any in sort of in the crevices, then I always have um, a toothbrush uh, that I use for crafting. Like I can reach it on my, on my death lock. There you go. And it says on not teeth. Like you would pick that up and use it on your teeth, but best be safe than sorry. <laughs> All right. So that is now beautifully clean and ready to do your lovely um, clean embossing um, techniques. So let's see what we've got. Let's get rid of that. Let's have some clean paper all right so we've got our three pieces here which i absolutely love okay and we can spin them around now i'm going to keep them that way any way you want is fine so we've got those so um let's mount those up let's make a start on that so i've just got an a4 piece of black card now you can do this in one piece or you can do these in little separate pieces what i've done um for, for this is i've actually just used one pan just stuck them on and as in one panel i have a feeling possibly that the original um example which i sent off um, to Lisa for TV. I think I may have done it in separate pieces, you know, sort of cut this off and then um, done each one cut separately. Um, I, I can't quite remember, but it doesn't matter for this because I just want a nice quick video for you because sometimes when you see a cool technique, you just want to get to the bones of it, don't you? And I certainly do anyway. I'm like, right, okay, great. I know what I'm doing. I want to get on and get me inks out and have a go myself so you don't want to see me wittering on and, and doing unnecessaries so we're going to do it the quick way so glue wise um this i haven't got any leases fabulous new glue um yet i missed the boat on that so i'm just using some old glue um that i've got it'll be fine for this but i'm certainly looking forward to getting my hands on a bottle of leases here we go right so those are on there let's bring in my big old trimmer again we'll chop this down a bit let's try and avoid hitting wires maria here we go right so just going to chop that down we're not doing any of that measuring malarkey we're just doing it by eye there we go yeah i'll take a tiny bit more off there. There we go. All right, and then down at the bottom. There we go. Let's have a look a bit more. If in doubt, don't take off quite as much as you think you need to take off, and then you can always trim a bit extra. Right, so that's that. Okay, and then let's get rid of that black. And then we've got some mirror card here as well. Now let me just move that 
for a minute and I think what we need here rather than a wet glue because of the Miri card being sort of um, non-porous the glue will take it'll just slide around it will dry eventually but we want this just to just to dry quite quick so I'm going to use some red liner tape okay it's nice and nice and strong and it'll stick straight away so just bear with me a little second and there we go right so let's get that backing off there we go come on off we come nearly there that's it okay throw your bits on the floor <laughs> I've actually I've tidied my craft room and it looks great but I haven't yet hoovered that was my next job but I thought well I'll do I'll come and have a little chat with you fine folks first throw some more stuff on the floor and then I'll hoover that sounds like a plan doesn't it right here we go so we've got our mirror card there we go that's a little tiny bit wonky and if I leave it it'll drive me mad there we go it's better I'm not going for exact as I say I'm just sort of just so you've got the idea there we go that'll, that'll do that'll do that'll do right so let's get on then with our sentiment so what we have got over here is some bits and bobs so on here all right i've gone with so I just inked the card so we've got the happy so this is going to cut out the individual letters there that are on the the top okay um and it's also going to cut out this little layer here and then what i've done with the other layers i've gone the opposite of what i've done on the original so on this one whereas i've gone on black and then silver on this one what i've done is i've laid them out so we're going to go on to silver and then on to black and then we'll see and we'll see which one you like best so what you've got here is this die here is the largest one okay um so that is this beautiful silver layer right behind everything and then a little bit smaller where here i've got the black is this one okay and that's going to sit on top of this one and then our colored letters are going to sit on the top so let me grab my cutting place here and we'll pop all of these bits onto fit them on the plate because we're just going to do this in one in one go there we go that's absolutely fine they're all going to fit on there so again just bear with me while i throw this through not literally through my machine here we go let's go beautiful lovely 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 let's put that there so we've got something to look at yeah <sighs> here we go so let's see i've just i've chanced it i've just run that through just one time um sometimes i i just run things through twice just in case um but we'll see you can always put things through another time if need be here we go so look how lovely is that so that one's gonna sit on there okay so let's make sure that i put my dies back where they need to be so just in one place okay we've got this layer here okay let's get that tape off that's it lovely and then we've got our birthday so let's do the tape off that this is lovely i like this uh, this is actually two 
dies together what I've done is I've stuck the two dies together with tape but these will actually separate look into two okay but I prefer to cut them together so I'll make sure there's some tape um, to enable me to to do that if you are cutting two dies together like that then do be sure don't chance it without tape honestly if they move just a little bit um, you're going to damage your dies it's really not worth it look after your dies because they're, they're beautiful there we go and then we've got our happy so our individual letters on here here we go look so we've got h a what, what was that program um years ago what was it oh my jppy oh my jppy i know i am i'm sure i am oh my jppy <laughs> that was i don't know what was that it was something like um open all out you know that sort of sort of program it was kind of one of those but i can't remember what it was <laughs> am i singing lovely you love it you know right here we go so that's our bits and pieces so we're going to stick those together so these ones are just nice and easy because it's a bigger piece so that is going to go on there like so okay here we go it'd help if you could see wouldn't it okay now these ones what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a little piece of cellophane so some old packaging i did have one ready somewhere and half used um, oh here we go let's use the half used one so what i do with this is i just squidge a little bit of glue on there and then give it a bit of a a rub like that okay oh look we made a butterfly <laughs> and i'm going to take this and just pop this onto the glue just press it on lightly like so and then i'm going to pop that onto here there we go give it a bit of a jiggle around if it's not quite straight Okay, that's that one and again we've got our letters I'm gonna cough you know give me a second <coughs> here we go I'm done so we've got our little letters so again look just gonna pop those on pick up some of that glue and pop those into place nice and easy there we go and then hopefully you're not going to get lots and lots of glue she says wiping it off there we go thank heavens for dry clear glue yeah <laughs> there we go but you know what i mean you know if you try to put just a tiny bit on the back of these you're not going to get a tiny bit you're going to get a massive bit and it's going to squidge out whereas the tiny bits that we're getting here are not going to make they're not going to impact on your project so don't worry there we go one last letter okay let's get that in place there we go that's lovely let's get rid of that okay let's get rid of that we'll bring our card in okay so we've got our card blank what we're done with that here we go Dun, da, 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 da. there it is here it is here it is make sure which way it opens yay so let's stick things down so again I'll just go with my glue here on the back of this lovely piece we're going to pop that on card front there we go and then we're going to pop our sentence on so where do, where do you want it i mean look we could go right in the middle if we want I, I, i'm avoiding other 
embellishments on this because this one is about the really cool this beautiful lock so I don't want to overload this so it could go in the middle if you want let's do it in the middle um, because on the other one I haven't and then you can see both and then you can kind of decide which one you prefer all right let's get a couple of pads on here there we go get one more in the middle and then let's get some on here as well there we go more in the middle okay cool yeah we'll pop this one in the middle i think this would be um a, a cool card for well obviously anybody arty because it's like crazy paint but also because of the the bright colors i think it'd be great for um for kids of, of any even like teenage boys because it's um i just think it's got quite a cool look there we go so we'll pop that one below there hopefully that's sort of straight there we go and we are done so which one which sentiment do you like best down at the bottom or in the middle in the middle or down the bottom okay you have a go do it your way okay so don't forget this is about the beautiful new um slim line in button folders um from lisa our lovely lisa horton of lisa horton crafts so these are actually launching as we are today this is this is friday i think we're friday the 29th of april or something um and this is going to be um on um on tv so there are about six of these there's a beautiful log one um there's some postmarks um there's there's quite a few hessian but this one is crazy paint um and i love it so don't forget to grab those um and add those to your crafty stash so thanks for joining me um take care and i'll hope to see you again soon bye